We have the injector out of the cylinder head. You've already done your repair if you've replaced a head gasket or uh, are doing an in-frame overhaul. We're going to, if we're going to reuse the injector, what we're going to do is re-o-ring the injector. These O-rings come in the overhaul set or the upper gasket set. So we're just going to replace the O-rings on the injector. They are different sizes, so you want to make sure that you get the proper O-ring in the pop, proper uh, groove for that O-ring. These O-rings hooks make this job really easy. Then we're going to uh, clean out the bore of the injector hole. We have the uh, rocker shafts removed so that you can see how this is done. Once the uh, injector bore is cleaned out with a brush, you, sometimes you can take a shop towel and place it on the brush and if there's any soot or anything that is left in the bore, the shop towel will pick up that dust and debris. You can see it removes that debris on the shop towel. I wouldn't recommend blowing into the bore of the injector hole because you may inadvertently blow debris down into the combustion chamber. Now, that would not be a good uh, event. We get the injector. You're going to uh, lube the injector O-rings with engine oil before you put the uh, injector hole down in that the bolt hole where the injector hole down bolt goes is free of oil or debris so that it doesn't achieve torque before it is actually tight. Carefully align the injector in the injector bore. Place the hole down over the injector. Start the cap screw. These injectors get torqued to 59 foot-pounds of torque. If you look it up on QuickServe online, or if you have a shop manual for the ISX engine. Uh, make sure that you look for the right vintage engine. This engine is a 871. And the injector hold down actually pulls the injector down into the bore. And there we have reached the torque of 59 foot-pounds. The ejector is in the cylinder head, properly torqued, so the next step would be to install the rocker shaft assemblies and go through and set the valve and ejector settings.